Alright, that's a little side road in the town in which I currently live. I'm going to spend some time working on this and cleaning this up today. Hopefully we can inspire some others to go out and help clean up their amazing communities. Alright, let's see what we look like at the end of one bag. Not too shabby. Alright, two bags down. Let's take a look. I like that. We still got quite a bit to go. Let's get after it. Alright, we are three bags down and we are starting to make a noticeable difference. Well, it looks like we're at the end of this ditch. We got four bags. I think that deserves a better look. Alright, let's take our final walk along this ditch. It's amazing what we can do with a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. Again, we hope that other people will see this and want to do something to help out their neighborhood. Everybody drop a comment if you're going to go out and do something to help the people in your city and your neighborhood to have a cleaner, better place to live. Until then, we'll be signing off. Catch you next time. Alright, as some of y'all know, we are fixing to move into this shed conversion. Move out here closer to my mom, help take care of her. It's been a storage unit up until now, so you can see there's still some stuff in here. But we have been doing some work on it. You can see where the walls are starting to come in. The electricity's been re-ran. We'll try to get some more video for y'all as we get moved along.
All right, tiny home build part three. Looks like we've gotten all the extra joists out of the ceiling. But the biggest deal currently is all the work they've done for the plumbing. And the electrical, I'd say we're coming along. Copper wire. Stop playing with them, Riot. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still want to party. Very good. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We have a Timu uh, unbagging, unboxing video. This is my first order from Timu. Unfortunately, now it does got some tears in the bag, so we're hoping that we're not missing anything and I don't know what their quality is going to be like except for the videos I've seen other people doing. Uh, let's get into it and find out what we got. Alright, let's get this big box out of the way first. This is going to be our box containers uh, for like when you have leftovers and a couple of longer boxes, maybe for pasta or cereal. Those are pretty thick. They're not real thin or anything, so those would be okay. Let's take out maybe one. Those are pretty good size. Those aren't for leftovers. Those are all for containers and stuff like that. Uh-oh. We've got one broken already. Looks like we're going to have to get a hold of Team Move. All right, let's get into the next product. This one has been thrown around and looks like it's open, but I don't see any real damage. This is an infrared thermometer. we're going to have to get some batteries for that, but then you just aim it up at your air conditioning vent or whatever you want to do to check and see if it's blowing out at the right temperature. So we'll see if it works other than the box being open doesn't look damaged. Charging stand. Been wanting to get me another one of these for a while. This is a wireless charging stand, a backup to have. Okay, if my cord decides to stop working until I can get another one, we can always use the charging stand. Okay, so it's got a, you just plug it into any regular USB, and then you can plug in your uh, different iPhone type or whatever right here, your regular phone, or you can just set it here on the wireless station. These look like pieces that you can either Move over there. Oh, each one's a docking station, so that's kind of neat. And this right here holds some kind of light or something. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll pay a little more attention to that one later on. Wow! The set is broken open. Not good, not good, not happy about that. This is a 46 piece tool set. Now I'm not expecting any amazing kind of quality or anything on this. This is mainly just to keep in the car in case I need to do something quick. Maybe a wire comes loose or maybe the exhaust comes loose underneath and we gotta hook it back up. Always nice to have a little extra set of tools in the car.
okay? So this is for making hamburgers. You want to make your hamburgers just the right size. You do the different things out, take the bottom out of that, and then you push the hamburger through and it makes it just the right size. So that's kind of cool. Make your hamburger patties right. Power inverter. Okay, so this is for your car. So this is, you plug this into your cigarette lighter, phone charger, and then you plug in your items that need to be charged or like your little uh, laptop or whatever into this right here. And hopefully it doesn't kill your AC pull out on your, uh, on your car. Hopefully it's not junk. You never know until you try it. All right, another little guilty pleasure. I've been wanting to have one of these in the car in case we're on the way to a show or something and we want to record and talk to everybody while we're driving and we want to be a little more safe. We got us a car phone holder. That'll be cool. pack of iPhone lightning uh, both cable chargers and the charger box. That would be great for the only person in the house that has an iPhone. Got us a little, what looks to be a dish towel. Not sure if this is what I thought it was going to be. I think I thought it was going to be a, a full size towel, but it's not bad quality for what it is. This is definitely not a full size bath towel. <laughs> by any means but it's not bad for what it is we'll take it we wash our dishes by hand most of the time so that'll come in handy all right and last and uh, probably least this is an automatic can opener you put the batteries in here you set this down on top you push the button and it goes and it cuts off the top of the can. This is cool because we don't have an electric can opener right now, so this will come in handy for everybody. Alrighty, well, so what have we found here? So far, we have found out that the products look to be, for the most part, okay. Uh, the Even the one that was damaged looks like it's made out of pretty good material. It was evidently just thrown somewhere, whether it was in the plane or when it landed here at the house. Thank you all for joining us on our first Timu opening. Everyone have a great day.